So the first thing you need to do is go to Start, then All Programs, then Accessories, then System Tools, and then click on Disk Defragmenter. Now once in Disk Defragmenter, select the drive you'd like to defragment and hit Defragment Disk. Now what Disk Defragmenter does is it compacts and writes over files and moves them together so it doesn't take as much space up on your hard drive. So as you can see in one pass, 63% has been relocated. So chances are your file has been re relocated and you can see it going up. But if you want to make sure that it's written over, you need to use Evidence Eraser. So go to the link in the description, then hit download, then click here, start download, then save the file. Once it's all downloaded, open up the executable file, wait for it to open, accept the terms and license agreement, and then hit install. It will begin installing. Once it's done, hit finish. Now once in evidence eraser, you can see here all the different places that it scans for temporary files that it can delete. Now just select start scan and you do need to have all programs that it will be scanning in closed so as you can see I'm going to be scanning in Internet Explorer so I need to close this so just hit yes and Evidence Eraser will close the program for you now you can see it's scanning over there each category how many it's found and then on the right you can see the total progress bar Now once it's all done, you have a list of each category and how many items in each and you can actually drill down into each category and subcategory and you can uncheck one if you don't want it. And there's detail view and then you just hit erase all once you're ready to erase, hit yes. It'll take you to this website. Just enter a valid email, your full name, country, and your postal code. Then go to the next page and select the license type you'd like. There's a few choices there. And then select how you'd like to pay. And there's also some great options like you can scan every day or every Saturday at a specific time. And there's also advanced shred, which you just add a file in there. And then it writes over that spot where the file is located on the hard drive once three times or seven times if you really want to make it thorough so that's a great option so these are two great ways to completely delete files on your Windows computer hope this helped you out and thanks for watching